back. So we're starting off with a 20 ounce straight skinny, whatever you want to call it. And um, I am just prepping the tape so that I can put it on the inside of there. I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to paint it uh, that blue color that you see in the in the glitters and then down there at the bottom there um, in that vinyl I pointed out here in a minute but I'm gonna take kind of that blue tealish blue and bring that out in that top part so I just took it outside and just spray painted just kind of that top but I was I went ahead and put glitter I mean I put epoxy on, on over the whole cup but I am just going to glitter just the, that just down, you know, like three quarters of the way because we're going to put vinyl on the bottom. But I do want to make sure that we are covering it with as much glitter as possible to get, you know, glitter all the way down to that point of where we're going to wrap the vinyl around. Now, here I am using Jack Dawson from... Um, PG Olive Glitters, and I'm also using Bedazzled, which is a smaller cut of the um, Jack Dawson from PG Olive Glitters. And I just, you know, put the whole, put Jack Dawson all over the whole thing as a thick, you know, as a, as a uh, chunky cut. And then I used the Bedazzled as a, you know, a filler to make sure that we had as much coverage of this glitter and on that stainless steel as possible. So I got this vinyl um, at the Glitter Craze. Uh, they were having a big sale, like $2 a thing or something like that. And so I just went through and found a bunch. Um, they don't have the best shipping. They, it kind of takes forever for them to ship something to you. But if it's not something that you're in a hurry for, sometimes they have good deals. They have good specials and stuff. It's just... It's just something that you can't can't be in a hurry with them. <laughs> they take forever. Anyway, so I took um, I wanted to bring out that blue in there, so that's why I'm bringing in the blue glitter and the blue paint and everything. So I cut just off that piece of that vinyl that had most of that blue on there, so that we are you know pulling out all both those colors. We're kind of putting those colors together, and I just took my very dull razor blade um box cutter thing and just cleaned up the edges um i always kind of do that off after every you know time that i do a coat just to make sure that we're not just building up and building up um <laughs> i was watching a show and my thing fell anyways so i took um my filer there and kind of knocked off some some rough pieces and then i'm taking my um sanding block obviously and I'm sanding around and it doesn't matter of when you're putting vinyl or foil and all the stuff we're going to do to this because we're not doing anything that's like clear or see-through so you can sand it down and no big deal and then you can just go into all the extra stuff that you're doing so I'm taking my Cami Page Boutique um tumbler all and ultimate tumbler tool <laughs> I was having a little bit of trouble today. I don't know why, but um, anyways, I was using it because I needed to mark. I wanted to mark down a um, line, and I was kind of trying to show y'all, you know, how old they... I kind of sometimes take all those little pieces off because I don't need them every single time, but I wanted to show you that those things are all kind of supposed to wrap around the cup and do different things. So I just used my little weeding tool and just kind of scratched a line. I don't know if you can see it right there, but um, I just was like okay this will be fine for me to wrap this around now there wasn't any lines or any particular like it didn't matter if it was too straight I just like starting off with a straight <laughs> line just to kind of like I don't know just to make sure it's not like completely cattywampus and all over the place so that's why I like to use that little tool and um, work that way just to make sure that we're yeah we're getting it as straight as we possibly can. I just think there's something to be said for that. And I had ordered this vinyl a long time ago and it's been in a drawer, but then I, I got with Artistic Painting Studio and I have a new partnership with them. So we have a discount code with them, Paxton 10, and they had almost the same exact foil, except for it didn't have the blue, but it had all of those different, um, you know, animal prints in it. And I thought, oh yeah, this will be cool. So we can just do kind of like a multimedia with putting foil on there and putting some foil leafing and all of that um, 
you know, just different, just do kind of like a multimedia. That's why I called the, this multimedia because we're using glitter and vinyl and foil and, you know, all that. So as I just kind of thought it was a fun little way to explain it. So the cami page thing is very good. It cut my bottom layer of epoxy <laughs> off as well. And so what I was just like, fine, you know what? We'll just, I'll just peel this off. And I just wanted to keep this in here because like I said, I like to show y'all that, you know, things like this happen to everybody. And so I just peeled off as much as I could get off of it. And I just was like, that's fine. Cause we're gonna, we'll go from there. We're gonna put several more coats of epoxy on here. So everything will be fine. It will be sealed in. So it's no worries. And because we cut it right there uh, with the vinyl and everything, it was fine. You know, we just, we cut the epoxy right there. We'll go in and we will seal it up and it will be no problem. So I did trim off um, just that back side and just underneath I got up underneath the um, vinyl there and then also um, you know I blame myself because I don't I don't cut this on a Cricut or anything I just you know just stick it up on, onto my um, little cutter and cut it so I don't necessarily think that has anything to do with the line that I made with my tool I think it ha a lot has to do with the fact that I probably didn't cut a very good straight line but no but no big deal I just took my razor blade and just guided it down as straight as I could and just kind of got just that little bit that was kind of off. Now here is that beautiful foil that I found. Um, I'm a stickler for animal print, especially like snake prints, which you'll definitely be seeing a lot more of that coming soon because I am I love snakes. So anything snake print or snakes, anything I'm, I'm in. But I really love like exotic type things like this. This was just really enticing to me. So um, this glue is actually from Southern Bell Glitter. Now this is like their fast acting glue. And I will say it does dry pretty fast and it does um, stick the glue, you know, the, the foil on there pretty well. But it does not give you that just final look and finish like the artistic painting studio that the I mean there's a reason why they say for you to um, wait an hour for it to, to you know really dry and get real tacky and then put your foil on there this was a this was neat this is a neat thing to like if you're just trying to get something banged out really quick but if you really want that true foil look I will say that the glue, the artistic painting studio is, it's really awesome and it like, but it does take quite some time for it to, you know, get to that point of being able to put the, the foil on there. So there are pros and cons to everything that you're using, but I wanted to kind of share that with y'all that um, this is what I was using in this case. So, and I just went, I mean, I just did them as, you know, messy or as, whatever I was not trying to go for any kind of particular um, order or design or anything like that so um, I just took my heat gun and kind of speed sped it up a little bit and then just went in and and I did use my scraper but I think you could use pretty much anything like a popsicle stick or whatever I mean but it seemed to work fine with that um, but I just went around the whole thing and just kind of got as many little pieces. I just wanted just kind of a, a, a rough look, just a, a mixed media, you know, look to it. Just that like that vinyl was coming up from the top or that it was coming down to the bottom and that, that kind of thing. That was like in my mind what I had in mind. <laughs> So I'm just going to let this play and show y'all how I kind of went around and did all the foils and then I did foils at the bottom and um, all that. So I'll just let that play for y'all.
So I apologize because I genuinely thought I was recording or I thought it was going to record or something when I put the uh, foils on there, the, the leafing, but I did not. And I do not know where that video is or I don't think it exists to be honest. But anyways, um, I just went in with the same glue and I just dried it with the heat gun and then I just went in with pieces of the foil and just rubbed it on. It did it exactly the same as the foil that um, has all of the animal print. And so I got this decal from Banff Custom Creations and um, it had all, like it had that kind of look and feel to it. And as far as the, the leopard print and the, just the look of the rose gold and everything. So after I did all of that, I went in with a coat of epoxy and then that's where we are at this point with that, um, with the decal and the vinyl piece that I was just kind of separating the two out. And I used like just a black, uh, holographic whatever it was it's not holographic it's like gray gray kind of silvery look anyways i've used it many times it's one of my favorites and there she is so beautiful i tell you what this one was really a lot of fun this really kind of spoke to my like animalistic soul that i really love animal prints and everything um <laughs> anyways and that teal color love it it's beautiful i think the contrasting of the two with the rose gold in there it just all really came together i was really very pleased with this um the decal you didn't need to, to seal it because it's already printed and sealed and ready to go so it's very easy anyways i'll have everything linked down below please join my facebook group and please if you recreate this tag me let me know i want to see it i want to look at it um please like subscribe comment down below all of that stuff that I ask you to do all the time. And I'll see you next time.